Um, what you're gonna need is a, a tape fish. I bought this fish right here. It is a GB Gardener Bender. It's a really cool little electrical tape fish and they used it to fish through all of the holes and cracks. Uh, you're gonna need a good one meter aluminum um, measuring stick, you know, yard stick like this. This is, makes it much easier to cut, much easier to measure. A good tape measure, a good pair of scissors. I like using a razor blade a little bit better. You have to change that razor blade every two or three cuts, but um, it's a lot quicker, a lot smoother than the scissors. And, uh, and then you're done. Um, the difficult part, there's like little tiny holes here, little tiny holes above, you know, all these little things. And it was pretty difficult to stuff them in there. I used this to stuff inside the little holes, boom, 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 and just kept, kept pushing until everything was full. And then uh, all I've got left is the headliner, and we're done. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys. Before finishing the walls and ceiling, we ran the electrical wires for the lights and the fan through some plastic tubes from the ceiling down to the solar generator on the ground. We did this just in case we needed to replace something later down the road because we thought it might be easier to run a new wire in. We're not sure if this would work though because the tubes are quite small. And for power, we're using the Apex Solar Generator by Energy and it's easy to plug everything directly into it. Now I've got it sketched out. I like to include as much detail as I can, lots of arrows, annotations, because I don't think there's anything worse than like doing something and then you have to undo it because you forgot that the hinges are going to be placed on a different side or there's going to be a component in there or you've got to run a wire somewhere. So I always like to be as detailed as I can with the diagrams, make it dummy proof. So now I have the diagram drawn. I always like to figure out the most efficient way to get the use out of every single sheet of plywood. I'll plan how to cut my plywood, thinking in future of, oh, I can use an eight inch rip for the drawer boxes or whatever it is. So now I'm gonna write a cut list and then I'll go to my plywood, use my track saw and cut out. It's black on one side, white on the other, so it reflects light back into the room. We very easily just attach it to our headliner shelf. We have these little clips and we just put them up like this. And then my sister-in-law sewed some black fleece fabric to the edge and it goes on this Velcro we have over here. We tuck that up there stick this on the velcro and just like that in minutes we have a blackout curtain and from the outside you can't really tell that there's anybody staying in the van <laughs>